in that interview again it depends upon interviewer to interviewer i did competitive programming in my yeah. past so not generally aware of this in, in our implementation mm-hmm. because so hello everyone today we have a special guest on our channel we have ansh so ansh would you like to introduce yourself First of all, thank you so much for inviting me to your channel, Ashish. Yeah, so I am Ansh Pasari, and I graduated in 2023 from MSRIT Bangalore, and I pursued my majors in electronics and communication. And recently, I am working as a full-time engineer in company named Atlassian. Right. So Ansh has cracked Atlassian. That too from a tier three college. That too off campus. So we'll be talking all of that here. So first of all, tell us about your Atlassian interview experience. What all did you face? Yeah, so I gave my interview back in 2022 mm-hmm. in the month of April. I interviewed for a summer intern role. Mm-hmm. So the summer intern role interview went like this. At first, we was we were having a an OA that is an mm-hmm. online assessment. In online assessment, there were four yeah four questions. Mm-hmm. like full dsa base and there were no apt questions or gk based questions and all the four questions were of a good difficulty level i'll say mm-hmm. like if i have to categorize those questions according to the lead code difficulty because that is the platform which is being widely used mm-hmm. by students right. these days so first two questions i'll claim as medium of lead code and the last two questions it w- were like between medium and hard not exactly medium and not that hard somewhere between so yeah if someone has a good practice over dsa on lead code or has done competitive in the mm-hmm. past so it will not be that difficult to crack it and it was like one and a half or like 90 minutes there was mm-hmm. to solve four questions and we generally can't say like if you solve three questions you will definitely get a call or mm-hmm. if you'll solve four. it again depends on how the other candidates are performing for the same so yeah that was about the online assessment what what so, were the topics do you remember the topics that were there of the questions yeah the first two questions were like ad hoc questions mm-hmm. general logic building and it doesn't it didn't involve any specific dsa mm-hmm. or any specific algorithm the next two questions i remember it perfectly it was based on graph and dp okay like the third question was completely based out of graph and mm-hmm. fourth question consisted dp on graph mm-hmm. that's a dynamic programming on graph hi it's me the guy from the video and i'm here to tell you about a great opportunity from cryo What is Cryo? You might ask. Well, only the best way for you to crack your dream company. And how does that work? Well, Cryo has a software engineering program where they teach you everything that you need to know in order to become a full stack web developer. So they teach you front end, they teach you back end, they teach you interview focus, system design, and DSA. Basically, everything that you need to know in order to crack the top companies out there as a software engineer, you will get from Cryo. Not to mention the amazing placement statistics that they have. with the average dream package of 11 lpa an average super dream package of 22 lpa with a placement guarantee and they have 700 plus hiring partners with most of the students getting placed in top companies like google microsoft urban company cred and most of the students get placed within the 6 months of joining the program cryo has a motto of learn by doing so instead of just learning theory and theory you'll be building real world projects under industry grade experts and the best part is that you have a free trial available so that you can check the course out before committing to it i've given a link in the description go click the link and book your free trial now okay so yeah i was able to solve all four fortunately mm-hmm. last <laughs> then i was, i just wrote the code and just took the god's name before submitting because <laughs> i had like 30 yeah. seconds so i didn't have the time to debug and also mm-hmm. just press the submit and by chance and or by god's grace it mm. got passed so all test cases yeah all test Very cases good, yeah. nice yeah so yeah so after oa like few days after the oa i got the round for both of my interviews mm-hmm. both of the interviews were eliminatory like mm. in each interview you will be judged and then pass on to the other rounds of interview so the first interview was dsa based interview mm mm-hmm. i was asked to solve a question based using data structures and algorithms mm-hmm. and 
that question it was completely based out of c++ like stl in c++ mm-hmm. so like if someone has a good grasp over stl in c++ i think so that question was not so difficult mm-hmm. but what the question like if we talk about the other candidates interview which i have heard too so from there i got to know like someone asked two questions also mm-hmm. but in my case it was one question and a follow up to that question in the later half like they reduced the constraints and they said to optimize the logic further and in that question there was a point like where i have to select between time complexity and space complexity mm, like yeah. point, and which two declines because both can't be like mm, at optimized. the most level one has to be sacrificed a mm. bit so i gave both the solution two solutions in which i optimized the time and in the other solution in which i optimized the space mm-hmm. so in that interview again it depends upon interviewer to interviewer but after solving the question the interviewer was having time so he started asking me the inner implementation of stl libraries like mm-hmm. how map is implemented and i used an ordered map and set in my solution so he asked like how it is implemented can you write a pseudo code for it mm-hmm. but as we were lacking time so i was not able to write the pseudo code but yeah i gave him a bas- basic explanation like how these st libraries are implemented so he, in that honestly i got stuck in between mm-hmm. while explaining because i did competitive programming in my yeah. past so not generally aware of this in, in our implementation mm-hmm. because competitive programming just everyone just use stl <laughs> yeah, we have to like code everything fast mm-hmm. and we like don't focus on variable naming and like we just <laughs> give a z yeah. something like that so that's why i got stuck somewhere while explaining but as i solved both the question as well as the follow up so i got the call for my final round mm-hmm. the final round was the managerial round and i must say like atlassian focuses on its values a lot mm-hmm. so even like if someone performs like very good in the technical round but if he or she lacks in the managerial round then the candidate might be rejected no oh, really yes so managerial round is like a bar raiser for atlassian mm-hmm. so after like the dsa interview after a day or two i got the call for that managerial round mm-hmm. and it was like for 40 45 minutes where a manager from a any team of the company like comes up and ask you a few managerial or hr based not hr based i'll say but yeah mm-hmm. managerial and value based questions so atlassian has its five most important values which is stated on its website too mm-hmm. so they seek like if you have any of those values or all the five values or even like not completely but yeah have you like just a gist of those values mm-hmm. inside yeah so that you can be a fit for the team and the company so in that like as i said like i pursued my majors in electronics and communication mm-hmm. so seeing that from my profile like he started asking me questions out of it like how you manage your time and how you manage your cgpa and beside that there were few non tech questions from my projects too which i mm-hmm. made during my college time but it was not like tech based mm-hmm. it was tech like how you build a team mm-hmm. and how you decided like with whom you have to work so these were like kind of questions which were generally asked in that managerial round so after that completed a uh, week or two weeks later i received a call from recruiter stating that i was selected for a summer intern role mm-hmm. mine was like off campus offer so it was like very late stage where my interviews take place so like just as soon as my interview got completed a month later intern was starting internship mm-hmm. was starting so like all the processes were speed up so that's why i got a call early from the recruiter stating that i was selected and then came my internship period but yeah in atlassian i can say like every team works on the same level there is no partiality or anything like if one in- intern is treated on some cr- criterias the other intern will be treated on those same criterias okay mm-hmm. so like yes if you have a good communication skills and if you are 
good and dedicated towards your work during your internship so you can for sure expect a ppo mm -hmm. me and my other candidates got like there were approximately 50 51 candidates mm -hmm. for this internship so almost like it was a very good conversion rate mm -hmm. for the PPO. maximum people got ppo yeah so yeah from that internship i got this ppo mm -hmm. and you included both winter internship that is of six months mm -hmm. it really starts from january and end in june and then after that internship my full time offer starts from july 2023 20, yes mm -hmm. so yeah like in whole of my life atlassian is the only company in which i worked <laughs> yeah also the first company you cracked right or the second company yeah. you cracked Second, like before this, I got an offer from Cisco also. Mm -hmm. so, but yeah, like my personal choice was Atlassian from a very long time. So mm -hmm. it's like a dream I, company for a majority of the people, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's not ab about just the package what they provide, but it's about the work culture also. Mm -hmm. Like what Atlassian provides, because mm -hmm. work culture in Atlassian is too good. Like the there is work but you'll actually not feel the pressure of the work mm -hmm. because your teammate supports you in such a good way so okay. it's a like must crack company like of course yeah so tell us more about your journey to atlassian like how did you prepare what was your preparation strategy you told me you also did a little bit of computer programming so what all did you do to reach to a stage to crack this yeah actually first of all like to crack such a great company mm -hmm. the first thing necessary is the motivation to crack mm -hmm. a good right. company and my motivation came up like when i was selected in my college because i like all other candidates and students i was targeting iits and nits mm -hmm. but for some reasons i was not able to perform well in those exams so i landed up in this private college mm -hmm. so that was my biggest motivation like though i failed in that field but mm. in this field now you I can still get a good company yeah yeah and make my parents proud so mm. that was the biggest motivation for me so honestly for the first semester like i started with exploring ai ml stuff but mm -hmm. it was not my cup of tea to be honest mm. so then i came to know about this competitive programming and like problem solving was something which always interested me from my childhood like mm. whether it's solving Sudoku problems or crosswords so I like them. So I had this interest in problem solving. So I started with like basic DSA mm -hmm. and then I really leveled up my questions and way of practicing. Mm -hmm. So and then I al also tried like hands on competitive programming in which I saw good results. Mm -hmm. So I continued it like for a long time. And beside this, I also made like few web projects based out of one stack mm -hmm. which also helped my resume yeah. and like like good hands-on development because it even that is necessary while cracking mm -hmm. interview right. because of course people who are coming out of three or four years experience will generally focus more on development but mm -hmm. like logically because yeah. they are experienced in that so knowing the basics of development before interning for any company it is like good, good on your side mm -hmm. so yeah that was like my brief journey and i think so we'll have another video like how to prepare for the off yeah. campus place. so in that i'll explain like how i exactly got this opportunity off campus as well as its book which i cracked so even that was off campus so two offers which i got both were off campus so yeah in that video we'll discuss yeah so stay tuned guys we'll have another video like he mentioned where he'll explain how he was able to get these uh, companies interview a lot of times what happens is that people from tier 3 colleges right they feel hopeless because companies don't come to their college right so they don't know exactly how to reach out to the recruiter how to crack the interview or to score the interview at the first place so we'll have a whole video where Ansh will explain all of that so stay tuned for that and uh, very okay. glad to have this talk with you Ansh and the main thing that you said really like touched me the main thing is that motivation you know you need to have some kind of motivation only then you'll be able to go the distance right whether it's making your parents proud whether it's doing something for yourself you need to have some motivation otherwise consistency will be difficult right exactly mm -hmm. 
so again thanks a lot anch for coming on my channel and sharing your entire journey with me and my subscribers i thanks hope it will help our students thanks yeah. for inviting me ashish because like i got a lot of request on linkedin daily like asking me about my <laughs> journey yeah yeah so of course this video will i for sure will help many of the students out there to get to know more about the company and the interview experience and i hope so like students work hard after seeing our video and like crack good companies like atlas yeah